I look at your neighbor and say, if you only knew. You can go ahead and play that soundtrack. Kind of gives us a portrait. And it's going to lead me into where I want to preach today. Hallelujah. You got to start it at the beginning. I mean, I can sing the ending of it, but it won't be as impactful as that. By my grandfather's bed My mother is reading Psalm 62 God is our refuge Father stirs. Could it be he is waking me one final time? He has something to say. Son, whoever believes in him should not perish. That means go to hell, but have everlasting life. John 3 16. Romans 5 and 8. But God commended his love toward us, even while we yet sinners, Christ died for us. Even while I was a sinner sinning, and he knew what I was going to sin. Hallelujah. And what sin I was going to commit. Jesus went to the cross and he died for me. 
Romans 10 and 9 said, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. Again, that's Romans 10 9. Holy Ghost, I leave 99 just to go after one. And while I sing that song, I heard you say, Go after one. Wherever heads bow, you've heard the gospel in your hearing today. There's somebody out of the sound of my voice, and I know there's many that would be watching, and they may even be many that would be listening on audio. But somebody in this room today, God is beckoning you. He's constraining you with his love. I'm going to let them play this song one more time. I'm going to sing it again, brother. That second song, we'll save that for the altar. But I want to sing if you only knew one more time. And while I sing it, if there's any doubt whatsoever, you're ready for heaven as if you were already there. If you're not sure 100%, you need to get out of your seat whether somebody comes with you or not. Jesus didn't have nobody with him. He hung on the cross by himself, naked, bleeding, and dying. He meant just for you. And if it would have been just you, he had came to this earth and died for it today. He's interrupting this service right now. Hallelujah. As he calls and beckons you. If you're playing games with him, game over. It's time to surrender and get sincere with the Lord Jesus Christ. Eternity's real, people. No man knows his time. Ecclesiastes 8, uh, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 12. What time? There's once upon another man to die, and after that, the judgment. Hebrews 9, verse 27. Don't play around. You don't have forever. Today's the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians 6 and 2. Go ahead and play that song again. I'm going to sing this song through one more time. Hallelujah. What if it was you laying on a sick bed and somebody was praying for you? Could they rejoice with you knowing where you were going? What if today's your last time? What if it's the last day you live? Do something by my grandfather's bed. My mother is reading Psalm 62. God is our refuge. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Could it be he is wakening one final time? He has something to say. Come on, you don't want to miss heaven for nothing. Thank you, Lord. If you only knew what lies awaiting, if you can only see what I can see, if you can only hear the music playing, the angels singing, sweet victory. If you This song will be over in a moment. My mother is broken. So could your life be in a moment? Psalm 17. Oh God, I call on you. Come on, that's all you gotta do is call on him. Whoever calls on him will be saved. Romans 10 13. Hallelujah. She doesn't want to hear. Any words about leaving? My grandfather says, Fear not, this is my time, and into his presence I'll fly. If you only could see. Come on, one day it's going to be your time. It'll be my time. Man that's born of a woman is a few days in much trouble, Job 5, 1. It's the point of time for man on earth, Job 7, verse 1. One day we'll leave this people planet, but our life won't stop. Forever's forever. We'll live on forever in eternity. 
we gave Jesus our life, it'll be heaven. If we didn't, it'll be hell. For he that hath the Son has life. But he that hath not the Son hath not life. First John 5, 12. If you only knew, if you only knew, how much Jesus loves you. Yes, if you only Come on, saints, point your hands up here. Holy Ghost, you know every person while they stand at this altar, while they kneel at this altar. God, some are crying out for others. Some are coming just wanting to be obedient, to lead, help somebody else, make it easy for them to come that needs to come. And God, the others, God, that are crying out to you saying, Lord, I'm not sure. I want to know I'm ready. I want to know I'm ready. As if I'm already there. There's somebody in here you doubt often whether you're ready or not. Hallelujah. God says that He gives. Listen to what He says. By His Spirit, He gives you assurance. According to Romans 8, verse 16, the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Hallelujah. In Romans, or excuse me, thank you, Lord. Galatians 3, 26 said, We're children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Come on, believe on what He did on the cross. Say, Lord, forgive me my sins. I believe what you did for me. My sins is what nailed you there. It was the penalty of my sins that caused you to suffer and be punished on that cross. It was for me you died, Lord. And Lord, to you I give my life. I turn from my sin and I turn my life over to you. I believe you were raised from the dead. And that God, hallelujah, quickened your flesh physically and raised you from the dead bodily. And you're forever seated at the right hand of God the Father, praying, living make an intercession for me Hebrews 7 25 and I call on your name hallelujah he'll call his name Jesus he'll save the people from their sin Matthew 1 21 hallelujah say everybody say with me together Jesus, Jesus. I believe you're the son of God I believe you're the son of and I believe God the father by the power of the Holy Ghost raised you from the dead three days after you were crucified and buried and Lord Jesus, I confess I have sinned and come short of your glory. I make no excuses. I'm a sinner. Have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your shed blood. Make me yours. Because I want to be yours. My life is not my own. I give it back to you, my Creator. And I believe on you this day. And I renounce the devil. And I renounce his kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. I submit myself to you Lord Jesus. And you promise. The devil would flee from me. In Jesus name. I'm forgiven. In Jesus name. I am justified. Just as if I'd never sinned. Because you said. My sins. And iniquities. You would remember no more. I'm born again. Born of the Spirit. I'm God's property. And I'm on my way to heaven. Because of the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for redeeming me. In Jesus name. Now let the redeemed of the Lord. Say so. Who God hath redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. Psalm 107 and 2. Hallelujah. Come on saints. Rejoice and praise God. We don't know all we on in this altar. We don't, we don't know, and that ain't our business. They ain't praying to us. Hallelujah. We don't know all that we don't want through that camera lens or through that audio. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all our sin. First John 1 7. Somebody shout, His blood is enough. If you cried out to him from the earnest of your heart asking for forgiveness, his blood washes your sin away. And whatever that sin was, yes, yes Satan may bring it back up because he's the accuser of the brethren. Yes. Amen. Revelation uh, 12 and 10. But Jesus said in Hebrews 10 17, I, I said, Your sins and iniquities I'll remember no more. Somebody shout, He won't hold it against you. Again. Hallelujah. Born of the Spirit. Praise God. Y'all just have to excuse me because. The end of that movie made me mad in the spirit last night. Amen. I, I, I've sat in church services before when the preacher preached so good on heaven. And woe unto them if they asked me to end the prayer 
of the service because I'll have to get the rest of the story. Amen. Praise God. Amen. If you preach, always give an all call. If you're preaching about heaven, don't you fail to preach about hell. And don't you ever preach about either one of them or both of them. You should be preaching about both of them. And not give an altar call. Don't assume everybody knows. Amen. I, I could have... Uh, I could have been bound up in any sin last night and watched the end of that movie and thought, man, I'm going to have to do this. Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is a good movie, but just the end of that right there, it ended wrong. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So y'all just had to excuse me. I had to take care of the end before I got started this morning. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. God, and I thank you to every one of these people at this altar covered by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you when they walk away from this altar, every one of them that came here for that purpose. I know others came with some, but Lord Jesus, I thank you. Blessed assurance, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. I thank you, God, they'll have that as they leave these altars today. In Jesus' name, you don't have to be in any rush when you come to this altar. Amen. You stay at this altar as long as you need to. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, saints, clap one more time. Praise God. Somebody's thinking, you're going to preach again? Yeah, I got a word to bring today. I just had to, I had to just get old school right there and preach the gospel for me. Hallelujah.